Two federal surplus programs are saving state and local government agencies millions of dollars. Many agencies may not be aware the programs exist. Guns ready to shoot. Surplus military equipment like high-powered rifles, remote-controlled robots equipped with cameras, even helicopters are available at very little cost to state and local law enforcement agencies. Basically, if the military uses it short of a Black Hawk or a tank, the, it's made available to law enforcement. The equipment comes through a federal surplus program called LISO, the Law Enforcement Support Office. Even on a good year, um, when, when you have um, a good budget, you still never have the budget to go out and buy the things that we've been able to acquire that we've been able to use for the safety of our citizens. Oklahoma County Sheriff John Wetzel uses LISO to arm his deputies with M16s. Okay, eyes and ears. This provided us a way to equip our deputies with a high-powered rifle that could go up against other kind of high-powered weaponry that they may see on the street. Through LISO, he's also acquired tanker trucks, trailers to house deputies when they're deployed to help other agencies during emergencies, a mobile parade reviewing stand, and crowd surveillance towers. We even have a crane. People laugh about that, but we use that crane. We use it to build our tower. We use it to uh, put up light fixtures or take down light fixtures. We've used it to, to install um, generators. I mean, there's just been a, a ton of ways that we've used that crane that has saved the county money. A trip through the federal surplus yard in Oklahoma City gives a hint of the wide variety of equipment, especially heavy equipment, available through LISO and a second federal surplus program that's open to state and local government agencies. The LISO, L-E-S-O program uh, is strictly for law enforcement agencies and its weapons and, and weapons type um, equipment that law enforcement agencies would use, like, uh, like a Humvee. And that can't go out to general agencies. The other equipment that you see here is our federal surplus program, and it can go out to cities, counties, towns, rural fire departments, fire departments, agent, other agencies, and some nonprofits if they serve the homeless or the hungry. Uh, or they have education programs, uh, then they would qualify for. Orrin Redden says in Oklahoma, LISO is administered by OMES, the State Office of Management and Enterprise Services. Helping law enforcement agencies with equipment available through LISO is Barry Borneman's job. And in most cases, they're, they're good serviceable equipment. As a matter of fact, the weapons that have been received lately, um, granted they're Vietnam area weapons or era weapons, but they are still in the original box, original tape, wrapped in the Cosmoline, never had a round fired through them. The federal surplus program makes things like fire trucks, tankers, and heavy construction equipment available to state and local government agencies. But that's not all. Almost anything considered surplus by the federal government is offered to state and local government agencies and qualifying charities. Some things look old or at least well used, but records show this big 1990 model scraper has only six hours of use on it. It's one of those things where you want to keep it a secret because you don't want other people to find out about it, but you want other people to find out about it because it's such a great deal. There's no budget for advertising, but many agencies have discovered these surplus treasure troves through word of mouth. In the last nine months, state and local governments have received more than $11 million worth of goods from federal surplus at a cost to the agencies of only $635,000. State, local, and school police departments have gotten 2,186 firearms valued at more than a million dollars through LISO, plus 10 aircraft, with a combined value of $3.2 million, as well as 62 Humvees worth $2.5 million. Your state agencies, as far as Highway Patrol, Oklahoma Bureau of Narcotics, Oklahoma State Bureau of Investigations, they currently have property from us. Probably 80% of the sheriff's offices in this state have property through us. And then I would say 30 to 40% of the police departments in the state have property through us. We've been able to obtain a lot of very useful equipment, expensive equipment, that otherwise we would not have been able to afford to buy. Technically, agencies don't buy the surplus. It's donated to them. 
What they pay is a processing fee and the cost of delivery. Unfortunately, we're not, uh, we don't get allocated money from the state legislature, so we have to charge a small service charge. Um, currently, it's $40 for a weapon plus shipping from Uncle Sam. Uh, Humvee is $800. Um, everything else is basically 5% of what Uncle Sam paid for it. Most goods become property of the agency after 18 months. Weapons are the exception. When no longer needed, those have to be returned to the federal government. Mark Woodward is spokesman for the Oklahoma Bureau of Narcotics. It's been invaluable to have these military resources available to state agencies. OBN and the Stevens County Sheriff's Department are among the state and local agencies to get surplus military helicopters for just $5,000 through LISO. When you look at a piece of equipment in today's standard that brand new would be a couple of million dollars or more at the minimum uh, that we were able to get for $5,000, I think it's pretty much a no-brainer. For years we've had to work uh, very closely with the National Guard and we've always enjoyed that partnership to use their aircraft. But after 9-11 and issues overseas with wars plus border security, um, some of these assets have been harder to come by for when we need them for doing surveillance on drug deals and, and following vehicles of suspicious characters and, and just part of our daily mission. So having our own helicopter has been invaluable. And we couldn't have been able to afford that had we not been able to get one at a very cheap rate that was surplus through the military. Sheriff Wayne McKinney plans to use this big chopper for everything from surveillance to search and rescue. It'll hold 13 people and not counting the pilot. In a disaster such as a tornado, we had multiple victims. We could put litters in here and carry about six to the hospital. The Stevens County Sheriff's Office has also gotten generators and a pair of Humvees. This one had only 170 original miles on it when they picked it up for just $800, a price that makes this and other surplus equipment more affordable for government agencies that always have bigger needs than their budgets can accommodate.